Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing a Spriggan Scald of Okuaru. I keep, it's hard for me to even say Spriggan and then not have the next word be Enchanter, but it's Scald this game. Uh, we're playing the Crawl Sudden Death Challenge Week 5. Uh, the last episode we had, uh, we had an exciting encounter that uh, if we were to spin it positively, I might say that uh, it enabled us to identify a lot of our consumables. Uh, without spending any scrolls of identification. Uh, we had a real close call with Robin here for no good reason. Like, I forgot that I didn't even want to kill Robin for the bonus points. It was real rough. I'm lucky to have gotten out of it alive. And uh, now I'm short on consumables. But, uh, you know, the, um, the equipment is still solid. Still got that sling, which is uh, good. What am I training again? Fighting, dodging, and hexes, because I wanted to use Corona. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going back downstairs. Uh, I guess this staircase looks pretty good. Don't kill fucking Robin. Good advice. Good advice. Uh, I'm glad I put that there. You know. You gotta have fun. Or what is the point anyway? That makes me laugh. You know, I, I hope nobody is too offended by the occasional use of profanity here. I, I try not to overuse it too much. But, uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's take some more dexterity. Dodging is just so key stay alive. I will want some int at some point. Uh, let's... Hmm. What do I want to... I want to isolate the worker ant, but what do I want to do to it is the other question. Like... I'd love to shoot needles at it, but I don't have a blowgun. Uh, I think I just step south here. Cool. Cast, um... Yes. Spectral weapon, and then Corona, Corona, ugh. Got him. Let's try to get the stab here. If not, it won't really be a problem, but we did. Let's rest. It is important to have magic points available. Uh, heading into a fight. Okay, so here's where we get back into Robin's pack, I think. So let's just not do that. Yeah, that's Robin. What is this? A shaft. Gold is great. Ah, having to run away from every unique this game. So I could just choose to give up on that uh, bonus. A lot of people have. And apparently, last time a Crawl Sudden Death challenge was run, and they had this uh, challenge, a lot of people gave up on, on the bonus just because it's like hard to remember, kind of hard to do. Apparently they had a somewhat less suitable character as well. Um, so it's a, it's a, I mean, I don't know. It's worth three points though. You don't want to give it up. I feel like the tier one is a lot harder than the tier two. Uh, you, you have to do the tier one to get the tier two. Uh, but once you've done that, uh, you know, getting past the early game without killing uniques, I think I mentioned uh, last video seems harder to me 
than getting through the late game without killing any more uniques. But maybe I'll uh, find that that's not the case, and uh, I could decide to change my mind later and just kill some uniques to lock in some points and not die. It's a possibility. Uh, let's just, what is this guy? Let's just throw some stones. That didn't work very well. Cool. Let's spectral. Whoa, don't auto explore. What are you doing? Oh, what a foolish button to press. All right, they didn't, they didn't see me. I really, there's, Robin's band is so dangerous with, um, with Robin carrying her wand of confusion that I, I just can't auto explore at all this floor I think it would take there's too many dangerous places I need to be careful coming around every corner which is something I really like about ooh, ooh, about uh, this just this format is, you have to be care so careful. Uh, you don't want to lose your character early. Um, and that's true always, right? I mean, you should be careful. But even more so when you are... Yeah, that Ord Priest is a problem. When you're playing for a competition, uh, I just that orc priest. I was hoping to get like some stabs on some orcs, but it didn't happen. And I'm not at all certain that I can kill them without stabs. So I think we're just gonna head downstairs. But if you're not playing in a competition, you can sort of uh, just sort of mindlessly say, "Oh, you know, lost another character, reroll." Uh, and then, like when you finally get a good game going. Uh, you can convince yourself that, like, oh, uh, I just got unlucky on those previous games. This is, like, me playing well. and uh, Where, like, I don't know. If you don't, if you don't play carefully all the time, it seems like the characters you do get going, it's reasonable to attribute that to luck. Um... Whereas a tournament makes you just push for push for every single character. You know, like when I when I got zero points in week two, it, you know, I certainly ran into some tough really. I guess I'll pick it up. I don't think I want to use it, but I ran into some tough situations. But I still like I know it was totally my fault. Um Oh yeah, Book of Cantrips. Um, and I think it's nice that you only get one chance so that you can't delude yourself into thinking that you're playing better than you are. Ow! Sort of thought that stab would kill him. Jeepers. All right, that's, that's rough. Uh, but I think we can finish him off with the sling. Gonna take some kiting. Got him. Oh, ogres, man. They hurt a lot. Could he have killed me in one hit? I'm not really sure. I just realized I have these scrolls of enchant weapon, and I remember last episode I spent quite some time thinking about what I should be training, uh, so I could decide what to enchant. But I think not enchanting anything is a is a real crime. I really need a better weapon. So whether I enchant up the sling or the short sword, I should enchant something. And there haven't been any better short blades so far this game. Uh, and I think having a plus three short sword is not is not great, but it's a lot better than plus one. 
and I think we just need to get this character off the ground and then you know we'll be able to not coast but build on that success I suppose would be a a nice way of saying it yeah I'm not gonna try to stab that ogre this time fool me once shame on me as they say but uh, not gonna make that mistake again not at any rate until I have a lot more hit whoops almost made it again until I have a lot more hit points yeah but ogres are just there's so much experience uh, so I'm glad that we don't have to just leave them lying around uh, okay spells are getting a little bit more reliable uh, when fighting gets to I don't know three maybe I'll turn it off there's all these gnolls gnolls are a problem this one's not wielding anything I have so many sling bullets for some reason they're sort of a rare commodity usually compared to stones but I've got a ton of them you know I might as well use them I guess I have a spear? No. Okay. Uh, I am going to try to just dagger him here with Corona. He resisted. How about this knoll? He has a spear. Where are the stairs? Down there. All right, so I do have a straight shot to the stairs. I have teleportation if I need it. Let's hit him with some bullets. Let's take off this amulet of stasis. Having access to haste and teleport in an emergency without having to spend a turn taking it off, I would really appreciate. Come on. Ugh. Got him. So I'm still, you know, a little bit uh, torn about how long I want to use this sling, but for the moment it's helping out a lot. I don't know if it's going to enable me to kill orc priests, because one smite can do like, I don't know, 10 or 15 damage probably, at least. At least 10, possibly as much as 20, I don't really know what the smite uh, damage levels are. Uh, that was 11. Can I cast regen? No, I didn't memorize it. I can memorize it soon, though. Jeez. Uh, I think I'm just going to back off. Learn regen. Yep. Put it on R. Cast it. So you can see it doesn't heal a lot of hit points at this spell power level, but it did uh, it did get me up back to full health pretty quickly. Are these my sling bullets? They are. Well, they wouldn't be anyone else's sling bullets, but I wasn't sure they were sling bullets at all. Whoops. Yeah, I think better just run away from an orc priest. It's still too early in the game on a Spriggan to be engaging Orc Priests. If I could get into a situation <laughs> uh, with kiting him uh, and a sling, I would feel okay about it. Like if he comes this way, maybe. There's the ogre. I'm happier kiting the ogre who can't really hurt me from far away at all. And he's worth more experience anyway, I think. You know, if I have to, I'll try that out again on the priest, but I probably shouldn't. Wand of Confusion, that's a great tool. Uh, as soon as fighting hits three, I'm gonna turn on short blades, I guess. And stealth is already on, okay.
Mm. Okay, we're up to two pips of Okawaru piety, which doesn't really matter, but it does mean we have more piety to spend on heroism, uh, which will save us from a lot of fights. Heroism is such a big boost. I just, boy, I feel pulled in all sorts of different directions trying to play a Sprig and Scald. I need everything. Uh, which means, of course, that I'm like inevitably training incorrectly. There's just so many variables to balance. Where'd he go? So what I'm going to try to do is shoot at him only when he's at max range. And then... Okay, is he following me? Yes. Then, uh, if he gets in a good smite, I can run away. Yeah, I'm just running away. Oh, there's this hound. I forgot all about him. Let's see if I can get the stab. Nope. But do get the kill. Uh, which staircase was I looking for? This one, I guess. And let's mark this one as excluded because it does go someplace sort of nasty. Uh, we, we haven't explored it, but we have uh, seen all three downstairs on the previous level, and one of them is over where Robin was hanging out. Okay, fighting is at three. Let's turn that off and do some short blades. Do I maybe want to turn down dodging? Uh, how are the hexes looking? They're getting there. Corona's looking good. I'm sure it could use more spell pass power. Spectral weapon is okay. Mm, let's turn off hexes, actually. To let me get a little bit of invocations for heroism. Oh, he's asleep. I didn't notice that. Well, nope, just, just a bit too slow. Okay. He keeps blinking around. Okay, got him. Nice, and Okawaru was honored by, uh, by that kill. That's cool. All right, this dungeon is going okay. Not great. Let's identify that wand, actually. I actually should have identified this a while ago. Well, that's interesting. It's plus seven, which is very good, but it's anti-magic which is going to reduce my magic ability by like two-thirds, so I'll only have four magic, I think. I mean, I can try it on. Yeah. Of expedience, how uh, prophetic. I mean, int minus three, this would make me very much more of a tabber. Like, I couldn't really cast any spells. Except maybe a special weapon at the beginning of a battle? Yeah, see, and like if it misses, I can't do anything. And I'd have to... S long blades. I'm not very good at training. Ah, this is a tough choice. It is plus seven. If it weren't anti-magic, I think it would be... I think I would use it. And maybe I'm wrong. Like, maybe I should use it anyway. Maybe I shouldn't use it even if it weren't anti-magic because it's a long blade and like I don't know. I feel like if it weren't anti-magic it would definitely be right to use. Maybe I wouldn't want to train it, but hmm. Interesting. That is a difficult decision. Sif altar. Uh sure down there it looks fine. 
Stuck away from the Orc Priest again. It's sort of practice for avoiding uniques, I guess, is getting away from all the dang Orc Priests. There's only one on this floor that I've seen so far, but that's one more than I'm comfortable with, really, when it comes to Orc Priests on a Spriggan. Ooh. A Lightning Rod. Well, that is not subtle. Um, I feel like even at zero evocations, this would, uh, this would kill an orc priest, but I don't want to try it on him yet. Uh, it's really cool though. I, it's another thing I need to train, right? Evo? Ugh. Uh, well, I'm just, I guess I'm building a big toolbox and I'm going to have to be able to choose the right tool for the job a lot. Like for Orc Priests, that does seem pretty good based on my previous experience with lightning rods. Uh, but it looks like we're done with this floor. An ooze. Okay. Let's just spectral weapon this. Okay, got it. And uh, it'll be, I want to see how much damage this does to like an ogre. The ogre is moderately wounded. Killed the ogre. So it would, uh, yeah, I was right. It would absolutely demolish an orc priest. Wow. That's a great find early. But what do I train? Help! Look at all this. I guess I'm going to turn off dodging. Seven is an okay place to stop. I think. I don't know. I don't know the details of dodging breakpoints, but... Evocations is like super cheap to train on a Spriggan, I guess. Do I have any recharging? How much recharging? Zero recharging. Okay. Because I feel like that lightning rod could... If you wait for it to recharge, it could really trivialize a lot of... Uh, a lot of the early game threats. I'm going to try another staircase. Okay, uh, so this lightning rod is not charged right now, so I don't want to deal with the orc priest. Uh, on the other hand, I'm going the wrong way. Please. Okay, here we go. Oops, didn't want to go to this one. I want to go to this one. Okay, so... Getting a lot of tools, getting a lot of tools. I think I don't need to use this right now. Leaving my short sword at plus three is fine. Okay. Let's wield the sling and shoot him. Back off, because he did make a bunch of noise. Although, Sling kiting Crimson Imps is a little bit uh, difficult because they heal so fast. Let's back off here and let's try actually just tabbing him. Ah, this Orc Wizard is worrying me. Two Orc Wizards. I can just switch to the rod and absolutely kill them, I think. But I would like to avoid making noise. Okay, there goes that Orc Wizard. Okay, this is a good enough 
Like this is killing a bunch of stuff. Cool. Oh my gosh, lightning rods, I love them. It's gonna be tough to keep this character in balance though. I think I feel like we have enough powerful tools for the job. But choosing how to use them is gonna be the challenge. Because look at me, I'm training everything. Uh, that's enough invocations. You don't need too much to use heroism. Uh, okay, a Sky Beast is not going to be impressed by a Lightning Rod, so we'll just leave him alone. I would really... Why does he keep like wandering around? Is he lost? Uh... Auto pickup is on, okay. An ogre. Corona, I guess, sure. Got the ogre. I believe that for a, a rod, yeah, evocations just increases your the spell power. So for the lightning rod, that's damage. And right now, its damage is great. What I wish it had was uh, more charges. So that's what I'm. If I find any scrolls of recharging, I'm going to be putting those towards my lightning rod uh, because it is like it's just a very powerful tool uh, for this early in the game. I feel like we've already graduated from slings, uh, although it would be a useful fallback to have the sling, just because the um, lightning rod takes so long to charge up. Uh, okay. Okay, so we can tab stuff, kind of. Not all stuff, those guys were both kind of flimsy. Let's regenerate. Yeah, regen actually is pretty bad right now. I need more charms to get that going, but it's not a priority. Regen is not my top priority. I think priority is the word I just used, and then I used priority again to explain it. But it's just uh, it's safer and better to run away from a combat where you're in danger, and then you can just rest. You don't need to regenerate quickly because you can get away from combat and regenerate at your leisure. Regeneration is more for, well, it's good for speed runs, but also it's good for like regenerating mid battle. If you're using it like to re to heal between battles, that's fine, but that's not like what it's that's not seeing it to its full potential, I guess. Okay, so we're killing stuff all right now. Okay, I don't want to kill all that at once though. <laughs> not without my lightning rod, which I want to use kind of as a, uh, not a last resort, but not exactly as a first resort either. I want to use it for stuff that I could not kill without a lightning rod because it charges up slowly. And like this stuff, I can just tab it. And if stuff goes badly, I can run away. But if I see, say, an Orc Priest, uh, it's just way too dangerous to do to do something like that, so I would use the Lightning Rod. Maybe, you know, an Ogre, I'm not sure, it could go either way. Because tabbing the Ogre works out all right. I think that's enough evocations. The lightning rod already does like way too much damage. I just want to make it 
like a little bit better. Maybe we can avoid completely emptying it every time we use it. Uh, but short blades should be a priority now, just so, because I'm using that to kill most stuff. Short blades and stealth, the stabbers, uh, stock and trade, I guess is an idiom for it anyway. Okay. So like this, two wizards is a fine reason to use the lightning rod, I think. Let's back up one more step to give them a chance to line up. Which they do, thank you. And there they go. So we woke some stuff up. A couple shouts, an angry hiss. Uh, so let's get out of here. Would have liked to pick up that book. Don't know what it is yet, but I need... Uh, I don't want to be around where a bunch of guys have recently heard lightning bolts. <laughs> That's sort of like a... Wow, these guys have uh, good weapon brands. Good branded weapons. Uh, let's try the hunting sling here. The trident is the main threat, I think. Just trying to kill off these orcs. Lure them, you know. Take, don't take a fair fight, we're a Spriggan. Spriggans don't win fair fights, generally, like any kind of Spriggan. And eventually we'll probably be powerful enough that that's not true. But there's no reason to push our luck here. Dagger of Speed could be better than what we've got, actually. Whoa, two orc priests. Uh, that would be a great thing to lightning rod if it were charged up and I could safely get into into range. Uh, but lightning rod doesn't see all the way at the end of line of sight. It's like range five, I think, where line of sight is seven. Uh, so, hey, where'd he go? There's not a lot of places he could see that I can't, are there? I could almost tell you exactly where he is. Like, he should be right here. Or maybe he could have gotten to, like, here or here. I can see here. So, like, he almost has to be exactly right here, doesn't he? Maybe there. I don't know. Nope, he was here. Okay, Lightning Rod has recharged, so now we've got ammo to deal with those Orc Priests. Summon Butterflies? Sure, actually. Or is there something else I wanted to memorize first? Not really. Let's get Summon Butterflies. B is fine. I'm a little surprised butterflies count as beasts to be in the book of beasts. Uh, did I end up seeing that dagger of speed get dropped? It looks like no. But I can wear this cloak. Uh, okay, this is uh, enough stuff that I could justify a lightning rod, I think. Wield R. Zap that orc priest. Zap uh, all of these guys. And uh, now there's this other orc priest, and he's out of range of the lightning rod, so I'm not going to be able to. The lightning rod is something that wants to be used on continuous turns. Like you turn it on and you just uh, keep using it. The first one does a lot less damage. It's sort of a tracer beam and uses only two magic points. Subsequent uses of the lightning rod cost five magic points and sweep out a wide arc and do more damage. Uh, so you, you kind of want to use it in, not in bursts, but like all at once. So if I just waited for that orc priest to come into line of sight, it would have been pretty ineffective. 
Okay, these whites are a problem. I wish I had my lightning rod now, because they're all lined up. So I'm going to go upstairs. Try another staircase, I guess. And meanwhile, wait for it to charge, I suppose. Since I am a Spriggan, I've got plenty of food. Well, I don't at this moment have plenty of food, but uh, food moves through your system pretty slowly as a Spriggan, so you can sort of... Okay, all right, lightning rod time. Gotcha. And let's try out this dagger. Plus two dagger of speed. Oh, uh, it's probably better than a plus three short sword. And I wouldn't mind enchanting it up, I don't think. Daggers are better stabbing weapons. Speed is a decent brand. And enchantment matters the most on speed weapons because you get more hits with them. All right, let's let's go for it. I'll just enchant this up. Cool. So there's still all those whites wandering around somewhere. Ooh, I don't mind if I do. Yes, quaff. Oh, uh, that's fine. It feels bad now because I need to put more points into my spells to get them castable, but once I do, they'll be more powerful than they would be at the same amount of experience. Uh, let's just work on hexes and charms, I guess. Okay, looks like a trog altar. Yep, you set that spell book on fire, trog. Good work. Giant gecko. Where are the whites at? They're what I'm worried about. Crawl, uh, crawl makes you racist against whites. Is not a great joke, but it is a joke. There you go. Now you know. Here's the Spriggan Baker. We've been seeing the Spriggan Baker a lot recently. Let's have some more intelligence. Uh, good, some more bread is fine. You know, I'm glad it's not some sort of like meat food vault, which wouldn't help a Spriggan much. I wonder if they make sure that like if you're a Spriggan the food vault you get is like Spriggan friendly and likewise for other races like uh, trolls are carnivorous. No, there's something that's carnivorous. I don't know if there's anything that can't eat bread. I'm sure there is. What is it? Felids, they can't eat bread. Uh, let's try this ring on. Intelligence, great. That helps already. There's this iguana. I still wonder what happened to those whites. A crocodile suggests to me the entrance to lair. So I don't I don't think they're normal dungeon spawns. I actually yeah, I was just thinking I should be standing here so that I can get away. if he gets an attack in on me that hurts a lot. Okay. Stealth is level 9. We're getting there. Getting into stabbing territory. I mean, and we're, we're getting some stabs, for sure. Uh, but, like, look how long it takes this monster to notice us. That's as good as... Like, I didn't get the stab there, but against a unique, that means that I can get away without having to kill it. Really? Is this so? 
Well, I would love the stab on the phantom. I'm afraid one of the orcs will wake up. But nope, looks like no. All right, now they're awake. But I think I can just tab through all this with a dagger of speed. Yeah, no problem. Knoll with a spear. I want to be alert for other knolls, which there probably will be. Okay, knoll with a whip and a whip. Okay. So these guys, I mean, we should be getting like so many attacks per one of their attacks. If you, if, especially if you include the spectral weapons attacks, like four or five attacks, probably. It is wielding a weapon of draining. It knows no spells. A centaur arcane marksman of Vehemet with no spells, really. That's interesting. Uh, it is a centaur, which for anything but a Spriggan would be terrifying because uh, centaurs can outrun most races. But, you know, we are a Spriggan, so it's just quite scary. Uh, we can run away from this. And just go back and try a different staircase, I think, is the thing to do. Sure, I'll kill this worker ant. Centaur and a cockroach. Oh yeah, the stabs. Oh. So much better than having to just kite everything forever. Okay, let's get some space, spectral weapon, and carve them up. Giant frog zombies slept through most of that, apparently. Can I identify anything? No. A killer bee is a problem, I think. I mean, with a dagger of speed, we actually attack faster than a killer bee does, I think, but it still hits pretty hard when it does hit. And I don't I don't have like confusion. I would love to have a hex that disables enemies. Corona is gonna help. But okay, I think we're gonna get. A, I think we got away from the ghost. I worry. Yeah, the spectral weapon actually is. Uh, kind of getting in the way. In that monsters see it even when I sneak by them. Yeah, deal with those butterflies. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, it wasn't really that effective, honestly. Uh, do the butterflies follow me, or what is the deal? I don't know. He spent some turns killing the butterflies, though, which is nice. Uh, but now that I know he's over here, I guess I can go back and try the other staircase? Obviously, I wasn't going to actually corona him. I was just curious what his what his magic resistance was like. It's enough that I can't really corona him. Uh, okay, nothing down there. This is stone, interesting. Some sort of uh, vault here. Uh, metal. Crocodile and sky beast. I guess we kill the Sky Beast first. Okay, cool. I I had forgotten for a while there that I have my Lightning Rod. I could try that out on the Ghost, actually, and it might be okay. What is this? Just like nothing? Just a cool little decor with a column in the middle? That's cool, I guess. Erolka is awake, but doesn't know where I am. Maybe lightning rod her to death. Man, this is. I can't kill her! Don't kill her! 
I'm gonna forget this, I'm sure. I'm gonna give up the point, not because like I needed to kill something to survive, but just because I'm too dumb to remember not to kill stuff. Let's eat some bread. I mean, I know it's not dumb. It's like you, you just get used to playing like that. And uh, yes, spectral weapon, please soak up all the hexes for me. Ugh. Where do I go? I guess back to the stairs. Every unique is just awful. Let's try the rod. Okay, the ghost isn't here. There's the ghost. I do want to see how the rod does against him. Hey! I thought he would follow the straight path, but he didn't. Well, great. Now I've used up rod charges and not done any damage. Let's try the other staircase. The third staircase. Uh, there's a Rolka. Okay. A killer bee. I don't really want to use lightning on that. It would wake everything up. Okay, a centaur should be able to tab that with spectral weapon. Okay, all right, we're killing things. Uh, how are my spells? Spectral weapon is getting there. Corona is looking good. Let's turn off hexes for the moment. Focus short blades. Oh, and pick up these scrolls. When did, I guess I must have gotten that Wand of Random Effects from a uh, Zom Altar. Okay, now let's try the rod, shall we? See if we can line up the scorpion as well, maybe? I wish they would get in a better line. I guess I can force that by coming up here. Killed the scorpion. Didn't quite get this ghost. And, uh... I don't know that I have... any other way to deal with him. <laughs> uh, how about this Wand of Confusion? No, quite unlikely to work. Uh, I could try just uh, tabbing a bit, I suppose. See how much damage it's doing. How bad is this drain? It hurts. Get the stab. The distraction stabs, please. Got one. Got another. Nice. You're welcome, Okawaru. So that spectral weapon helped a lot, not because it actually hit him or did damage, but just because it distracted him so we could get the stab. Uh, and that's a big boost of experience, which should help. Uh, I'm worried about the noise I might have made with the lightning rod, so I'm going to hang around near the stairs for a little while in case something shows up. But we got rid of a big threat on this floor. Don't kill a Rolka. Uh, there's another challenge uh, that you can get any 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 week you want of the tournament. Uh, bonus points for not using a melee weapon all game, and that's one that like you can easily don't don't melee at all, even barehanded. Um, that's something you can easily imagine forgetting. Uh, I was thinking of setting it up so that every weapon I pick up is automatically inscribed with like don't attack with this. Uh, you can you can have the game warn you like whenever you take a certain action with a certain item, and so you can actually have it like warn you if you ever try to attack something with any weapon, which is nice. For these, uh, I gather that in 
in the the roguelike community, stuff like this where you try to win in a particular novel way are, are called conduct runs where you uh, in addition to winning you have some some other special conduct you're trying to do which like in our case is not killing uniques in that other case I was talking about is uh, not not using melee weapons I want to get around these killer bees but I don't I don't want to fight them without a lightning rod and I don't want to use a lightning rod on them because it would make noise I feel like I would probably do okay if I just like used spectral weapon and heroism but unlike most things I can't really run away from killer bees they're just too fast so I feel okay just like sort of chancing it with a lot of these monsters but not with killer bees uh, I think finesse actually uh, is not as useful as it might be because there's a hard cap on the attack speed at like five attacks per second which with heroism and a dagger of speed we should already be at like three attacks per second so doubling it won't won't actually uh, double the number of attacks we actually get okay so I am gonna use heroism I think and try to kill these killer bees. It looks like it's going okay. With a plus three dagger and good short blade skill, we can kill a couple of killer bees, but we definitely don't want to engage a whole swarm. There's nothing down here. I gotta get this way. Right, that pulled at least one killer bee, possibly more. Looks like more. Okay, here we go. Now we've got a two on one against them. Uh, I didn't use heroism this time. Sort of because I forgot, but also I want to see how it goes. Looks like it's going fine. Again, we got poisoned a bit, but nothing too bad. Okay. Everything about this Spriggan game... Oh, really? That's it? Everything about this Spriggan game has me, like, constantly tense, waiting for the other shoe to drop when I just suddenly die. Which is... I don't know. It's how a lot of games go, but especially how Spriggan games go, is everything is fine, and then, like, you make two or three mistakes in a row, and suddenly the game is over. I have a close call like that Ooh. in week four where one turn it looked like I was kind of in bad shape not not like urgently but things were not going great and so I didn't react strongly enough and like next turn ah speaking of things suddenly looking bad and then next turn I was like almost dead and I had to really play carefully to survive. So we got shafted to dungeon 11, which is bad. Uh, and we found a labyrinth, which is sort of good and bad. Because a labyrinth is good, but I don't want to go into one at, at level 9. I'm not sure what I would do with the Minotaur at the end, you know? Um... But the loot in a labyrinth is, like, it's it's so good. It's so good. Um, I guess what I can do with the Minotaur is lure him away from all the loot, maybe. If it comes to that. Hmm. And maybe with, like, Might and Heroism, I can actually just tab him and Spectral Weapon. It's a thought. So I think I'm actually going to go looking... Whoop, never mind, not... What? Oh, it's a large door. Well. That happened.
that's a lot of killer bees. If I spectral weapon here, I can get them all in like this doorway funnel. But I could just teleport instead. I could even quaff resistance, I suppose, for the poison resist. It does have poison resist, doesn't it? Yeah. Jeez. I could just teleport, like, immediately right now. Because this situation is nasty. If I had, like, potions of curing, I would feel a lot better about this fight. But I don't, and I don't even know how many bees are on the other side of the door. I can see four of them, but there's a whole, like, three quarters of the room that I can't see. So I think the smart thing to do is just teleport away and hope I don't land somewhere worse. Okay, this seems fine. Banagales is cool. There's a staircase up. So we could get out of here, but I still want to probe around for the labyrinth if possible. Hydra. If I could get a stab on the Hydra, that would be quite nice. But if I don't get a stab on the Hydra, I would probably just uh, practically die instantly. And there's all this other stuff that would wake it up. I guess what I'm going to do, close the door, turn on Heroism, mostly for the stealth. Yeah, extremely stealthy now. Come on in here. At least he didn't make any noise. Just demolish this giant frog, get some experience. See if I can find a way to sneak up on this Hydra. And it looks like there is no very good way. Oh, he actually probably woke up just from that door, so forget it. We're not going to deal with that Hydra. The clock is... The labyrinth, rather, is distant from, like, up there. So... Gonna keep exploring while, uh, oh, while keeping in mind my uh, exit strategy is back here. So here's the labyrinth, and the only way out of a labyrinth typically is uh, the escape hatch the Minotaur is guarding. Sometimes there's like exits through the abyss, but that's really just making things worse. Um, is the lair in there? Like that's a bunch of yaks. But I'm going to dive in here and explore. OK, we're at the outer edge of the labyrinth, it looks like. Wand of <laughs> That's a good vault. Wand of teleportation with zero charges and a human skeleton inside this translucent wall. Very cute. Uh, do I have digging? No. I could hit it with a bunch of random effects and hope to open it up, but sadly... Ah. Ah. How many charges do I have on this? 12? I don't know, I guess I could give it a try. It might get digging or disintegration. First try! Is this game easy or what? Uh, so obviously a wand with zero charges is no use to us, but you could recharge it, you know? Uh, I'm just having... Having an empty one is better than not having one at all. There's all this metal, which is encouraging. And some sort of weird... A bunch of skeletons and a wand. It's just heroism and no, no stabs. All right. But we should be able to kill all this stuff, no problem, right? I don't know if heroism was really necessary. A wand of heal wounds? That's fantastic. 
I have a lot of stuff that I want to be able to recharge now. Jeez, I don't even know if I got a wand of, or a scroll of recharging what I would use it on. Probably not to heal wounds right now, because that has enough charges for the moment. But, you know, I was thinking of using it, of course, on... There's the Minotaur. Okay. Do we dare try a stab? And if so, do we use heroism now? Never? Do we back up and then use heroism and then come back? I don't think that's any better than just using it here, but it might be. Which approach is better? If I come here, one, two turns in his side of view. This way it's one, two, three, like four. Yeah, so that's, well, three, I guess. You know, one, two, three, and then you come this way. So this would be the approach to stab him. What else do I have? Some spells, I suppose. I have that lightning rod, actually. Uh, I'd rather try the stab and then later back off and zap him a few times with lightning rod while he's not in range to hurt me. So I think that what I'm going to do is back up, pop heroism, you know, not just for the stealth, but also for like all the other buffs, um, which I will need if he wakes up. And even if he doesn't, uh, I'm not, with a non-heroism stab, I might not have enough damage to kill a minotaur. They're pretty tough. Uh, what did it say he was wearing? It didn't, it didn't say. So I'm going to step back into his line of sight now. He's awake. All right. Well, he didn't like pick any of this loot up, which is good news for us. Um, I assume this wand of confusion is like zero percent to do anything to him. Oh, Twenty-two, not bad. So let's back up through here. I guess I remember there was a loop up this way eventually. But let's wield our rod and empty it into him. Now he's almost dead. Good. That's a plus. That hurts a lot. Got him. Okay. Thank you, Okawaru. I, uh... I mean, most of that damage I did with magic and not with any of your stuff, but the... A Wand of Hasting, too! I picked up all three of the big wands in one labyrinth. Wow. Manual of maces and flails I don't really need, but I got this new ring, I guess. Capital P. Uh, hmm? Ring of evasion, better than dexterity, sure. Wow. Well, uh, what else did I get? Some scrolls, and this grand grimoire, which I'm not really going to be able to use for quite some time. A wand of fire, a wand of slowing. So mostly we found some good wands in this uh, labyrinth. I might have said ziggurat. I, I meant labyrinth if I ever said that. Uh, I think this is actually a great finish to the video. Uh, going to have to be careful of all those yaks that we left at the minotaur, uh, the entrance to the labyrinth. Um, but this is, this is great. Uh, we can't identify the wand of Hastings yet. We don't want to go upstairs yet because we're not at full health, but if we can just find our way back to Dungeon 9 where we belong, uh, with all this loot from the Labyrinth, uh, we, we've got a ton of tools at our disposal. I feel great about, about this. I just need to not go long enough without messing it up and I feel like we'll snowball pretty hard. Um, so that's what you have to look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.